Yo, what's up, boys? Before you turn off this video and think, yo, Trip, who the fuck plays Royal Magical Library? I do. That's who. I want you guys to think about this, all right? How many spell cards do you activate in one turn? I activated about 10. According to my calculations, draw five. So if you want to draw five cards through one card and plus six, then play Royal Magical Library, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why. Before we get into it, I want to tell you guys some amazing news. You guys are gonna be absolutely jolly to hear this one. If you're excited for this, let me know in the comments below. Your boy just got one month off of work, baby! Let's go! I got one month off of work! Let's go! One month off of work! That means videos on YouTube every day, videos on Patreon every day, and streams every single day. So if you're ready for that, and if you're hyped for that, smash the subscribe button, not even just for the YouTube, but go subscribe to my Twitch right now, because every single stream for the next month will be on Twitch. Streams! YouTube, Patreon, every day. Royal Magical Library, what's up? Let's go! Before we start on the Royal Magical Library greatness, I want everyone to do me one big favor, okay? What does this say? This says stick to the game plan. This is a literal new game plan. This is game changing for pendulums. Please, I don't want anything. I just want you to use this card so you can see the greatness for yourself. Now we're gonna be doing a Royal Magical Library draw counter just so you guys get an understanding of just how good this card is, okay? I was so, I did not want to play it because it conflicted with Blue Boy, right? That was my main concern. But there's a way to still use Blue Boy Engine very well with World Magical Library. You guys are going to witness it firsthand. So smash the subscribe button, boys. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers. Follow the Twitch for daily streams, like I said. Uh-uh, and let's go. Also, if you want a server play mat, too late. It's sold out. <laughs> cha 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 Okay, so draw. So World Magical Library now has two counters of Dr. S1. I want you guys to pay close attention to this. Uh, now activate Citadel. I, I, I do play Citadel in this list. Citadel works very, very well with Royal Magical Library as well. This list has a big emphasis on Magician Souls. So unfortunately, if, you, if you're a budget player, it's okay, but you can still play Royal Magical Library, but play at least one Souls. At least one, okay? At least one uh, when you can. Uh, so here we're going to activate Royal Magical Library. In fact, to draw one. So our counter right now is one card drawn from Royal Magical Library. Unfortunately, oh, it's a brick, Time Gazer. Who gives a shit? We still win. Uh, activate spell power mastery, like especially with the duck green scale, gazer is kind of useless. It's like we like this is actually a bad hand. Some of you guys may think this is a good hand. We're servant of Endymion. We use mastery to add mighty master. We didn't use it to add servant. But, like this is really not that good of a hand. In fact, we're gonna make it even worse just to just to show you guys uh, something hilarious here. Uh, we're basically playing with a minus one card because I'm actually gonna still activate Chronograph and fuck. So our next best play, activate Chronograph and scale. Royal Magic Library gets another counter because Chronograph is a spell card. Abductor, but well, you guys don't understand what Abductor Abductor has an option. Search a monster or search a spell. Because you just search the spell right now. You just search the spell card to add uh, another counter there. So we're going to draw another card of Royal Magical Library. We're going to do the fact that Corner Grass and Time Gazer. Activate Mighty Master. Guess what? Citadel now has three counters. Guess what? Effect of Royal Magical Library by removing three counters from Citadel. Uh, so, because Citadel will be able to get its effect for that. That's three draws already now. And for, look at this. Another dead draw. Wow, we have two useless draws here. Oh my god, end of the world. Oh my god, no. And guess what? We're still going to end up drawing with uh, Royal Magical Library a lot. But not yet. I want to show you guys something very cool. It's actually going to blow your mind right now. Look at this. We're going to go into, into Crowley. Uh, I don't care what we draw. We get Blue Boy. It doesn't matter. We, we're not going to activate Secret Channel. Unless we got Secrets. I'm not going to activate it. I'm not activating it at all. I'm not activating it. I'm simply going to Pendulum Summon for three. That's a very small pendulum summon. That is not a big pendulum summon at all. Like, at all, whatsoever. You're probably thinking, yo, uh, yo, Triff, yeah, it's cool. You drew three cards off Royal Magical Library, but it's not that broken. You drew three cards. I'm not done yet. I ain't done yet. You guys about to witness something crazy here. So now we're going to go into Celine. Celine Special, the Royal Magical Library. So if you read Celine, Celine says, and I quote from Konami, okay? Once per turn during the main phase, you can remove three spell counters, special summon a spell caster monster. Not a pendulum monster, a special summon spell caster monster. So we special summon Royal Magical Library. 
we are going to proceed to activate Spell Book of Secrets. At this point, I recognize, okay, we also have Mighty Master. So we're going to activate the effect of Mighty Master uh, to summon itself. I'm going to keep one counter on this Abductor, not this, that was a mistake. And I'm going to use the Mighty Master to pop the Citadel. Pay close attention to this, okay? This is extremely big brain, kick W, pog, poggers, you have to take this place, okay? So pay close attention, pop the Citadel, Citadel effect protect itself by its own effect, so it doesn't die. We're going to be utilizing the Citadel soon. Now we're going to go into Absolute Dragon. Unfortunately, I realized myself, I'm like, this is pretty unfortunate that uh, my Royal Magical Library plan didn't work out because, you know, it like, uh, I couldn't get three counters. I kind of drew dead cards, but you know, it's okay. I'm just going to spell book knowledge. That's fine. So the counter should have been on the doctor, not on the library, like I said. But we're going to argue spell book knowledge. I couldn't get three. That's okay. It's part of the, part of the, the way it goes on, right? But we're not done yet. As you guys see, a special tech as well. Wonder Wand in this list is broken. And I'm going to show you guys why right now. Guess what? We have a second option now to summon the Royal Magical Library. It's the normal summon, the Pendulum Summon, the Selene, and now Cross Sheep. Does, what, how many negates you guys think we're going to put on board? If you answer anything less than five, leave. Now, uh, yeah, you're an idiot. Cross Sheep Summon out Royal Magical Library again. Effect. Special Summon 1 level 4 lower monsters from your graveyard. It still gets the facts, everything. Crazy. So now this sexy Royal Magical Library is going to keep drawing for us. In fact, we're going to draw so much that we're going to actually deck out and have... We could we, we could deck out. I have to stop drawing so much because I was going to deck out. You guys are see something very cool. I literally had to stop myself from drawing because I was going to deck out in my own Pendulum deck. So I had to stop myself from drawing so much. Uh, unfortunately, I had to cripple myself to let the others live. Uh, now, Effective Magical Abductor. This is Pendulum Summon. So we're going to use it to add Magician Souls. Now I have an option. I can summon the souls. As you can see, souls are very good in this list. I'm like, eh, nah, I'm just going to activate the lore. I don't really need it. Who needs a $100 card when you could use a $2 or a darkness? Activate the lore uh, to banish a $100 card and then add some counters everywhere, activate into the void. Uh, for the noobs, yes, if into the void is the third card, you can activate it. Now our counters everywhere on the field. I'm far from done. Royal Magical Library effect, draw one. Our counter for Royal Magical Library now is four. We drew four cards off Royal Magical Library. Next, Reflection. This list plays two reflection. If you go, if you cannot afford the souls, even play three. You guys are gonna witness now why reflection is so good in this Royal Magic Library list. Before your game plan was to do everything, draw, 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 and then pendulum summon. That's why I said new game plan, right? New game plan with small biceps, right? So the game plan was do everything and then pendulum summon. But now the game plan, who gives a shit about your pendulum summon? I'm gonna show you guys in a second duel. It's gonna be a pretty long video. The second duel, I'm literally gonna put up six negates with no pendulum summoning. The Pendulum Summoning is not even the most important part of the Pendulum deck. The most important part of the Pendulum deck is watching Triff Gaming videos. Okay, so uh, pay close attention here. So we already drew a bunch of reenacted reflection, purposely locking our scales. It doesn't matter. We already Pendulum Summoning to lock all we want. Now we're going to actually resolve the reflection to summon it itself out. Every single card in the deck summons itself onto the field. Abductor searches a card that summons itself. Reflection summons itself. Mighty Master summons itself. Servant summons itself. Magic summons itself. Everything you draw at this point. And we're still going to draw five more cards. There was 20 cards in our deck. We're going to be left with one card in deck because we're going to deck out. And in fact, we could have drawn that card if we wanted to. But we kind of have to attack for games. So we have to keep one card just in case. We're going to draw two cards here. Adding more counters. Look, another Wonder Wand. We're going to activate the Citadel to ensure three counters go on the Royal Magical Library. We're going to draw a card. This now puts uh, Royal Magical Library at five draws. We're going to activate Wonder Wand on Royal Magical Library because we might as well. We already did all this. We have seven cards in hand. Uh, we drew five times off Royal Magical Library, but thanks to Wonder Wand, I'm going to consider that at least seven. I'm going to say seven draws for Royal Magical Library, just because. Now we're going to activate one of our Magician Souls, uh, Send Jackal. Uh, I think you guys are slowly seeing where this goes. Activate Wonder Wand. Reflection now at three counters. Now we're left with a choice. I, I choose to send the Royal Spell Power Mastery with Souls. Now you have a choice. I decide to send Mastery. Uh, look at this. So I send Mastery and then activate Wonder Wand to draw two. So I'm left with one card. If I didn't have one card left in the deck, I could have sent Citadel and actually draw a seventh card in my hand. A seventh card in my hand. Now you look at this board of your trip. You still only have one negate. Where's your five negates you promised? Well, you just drew your whole deck. You have all the negates in your hand now. Why don't we summon them all out, shall we? By doing more big brain plays. So we're going to go into another Selene. Uh, Selene's now going to get 95 counters. Now, we are going to use Selene to summon a Royal Magical Library again. Uh, how, many card, how many times do we summon this card out? Too many, but not enough. Now, we, we're going to XYZ, okay? They're both level 4. Your whole deck, you're, you're maxing on the Abductor. 
You got Royal Magical Library, which is like the pin, the, the king ping of this whole deck. And we are going to, this is a proxy, I forgot to put it in, but Laika. Laika, Dryden, pop your own scales, special Chrono, special Jackal. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now, we already have our whole deck in the graveyard. Jackal, Mighty Master, Reflection is going to be into the Voided and sent to the graveyard. So I'm actually going to link away the Chronograph and the Jackal into a Masquerina. There's a lot of cool plays you could do with this. So here's a, a, the best play I'll show you guys. So now you pass your turn, right? So on your opponent's turn, uh, so you have Dryden, Masquerina, Mighty Master, Jackal. On your opponent's turn, you're going to judge, you have everything in your grave. You're going to judge what you need to send. So Celine, you're going to send a, let's say, a Mighty Master. Let's say he's playing a Spell Trap deck. Uh, and then after you use Celine's effect, you're going to link away the Masquerina and the Celine into another Celine. Uh, and then you're going to go into your third Celine with Masquerina and then summon another card from that one Celine. So you get to literally do whatever the hell you want. So if you don't want to discard because of the Unicorn, don't worry, you don't need to. That's the that's the first one for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the second one. Well, this is a, this was a solo just to show you guys in depth how to do it, and it's a new game plan. It's gonna be a long video. Uh, so this second one, I'm gonna be showing you guys the uh, how to do this uh, is in rated. So I'm gonna show you guys now the second duel. This is the second duel to show you guys how to do this. We actually some have six negates or five negates with not not even pendulum summoning, which is crazy. So uh, yeah, this is game three. Game one and game two was just classic like pendulum matches. I'm actually going to be showcasing the whole match on Patreon. It was super cool, the match. Uh, how we came back, uh, losing the Dyro came back. Uh, how to play around Secret Village, stuff like that. Very cool match. That's going to be on my Patreon for those who want to figure, want to watch it. But now this is game three, where Royal Magical Library really sh shows how broken it is. So we're going to activate. Uh, there's one slight mistake I do. I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time uh, that I didn't realize. I drew two cards with Royal Magical Library by mistake eventually. I'll show you guys, tell you guys when. But we just go back and put that card back. So I'm going to go fast because it's going to be a long video. Still, everything is drawing one. Ro the, right here. So Royal Magical Library, Royal Mastery, and then Mighty Master. I got kind of confused because I saw Wonder Wand. It's like habit of spellbook and knowledge. So this Mighty Master is actually the second. It was a mistake. It's going back into the deck. So right now, the situation, of Gazer, Servant, Magical Library, uh, Spell Power Mastery, which is dead because we have a second one, a Reflection, and Secret Village. So the Mighty Master is going to go back. We're going to activate the effect of Reflection. We're going to activate Reflection. And uh, so Royal Magical Library has, has one counter. Uh, put the Mighty Master back. Uh, so yeah, we're going to link first, but it's back. So Royal Magical Library has two, only two counters. And Reflection has one. Uh, so we're going to draw, draw. We're going to set, now we're going to send the Royal Magical Library. What I told him earlier was, well, I should have keep the Secret Village because I didn't know the Mighty Master was there, but I'll bring him back. We're going to draw two. I'm just going to fast forward the rest of the way so you can see the board. I didn't pen up something, nothing yet. We're going to use Souls to send two. We're gonna draw. I told him I think back to the village. I had no reason to play it. I didn't draw or got any like use of it, so it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna use Celine to summon back the magical library, like I told you guys. We're gonna draw again. I think we drew like four already by now. Roll magical library. We're gonna desires now. I'm uh, gonna draw again. I'm gonna act, we'll draw again with roll magical library. Draw again with roll magical library. Wonder one roll magical library. And we didn't pendulum summon yet at all. We did not pendulum summon yet. I could pendulum summon right now if I want to, but I don't want to kind of prove a point how broken pendulums are. So I'm just going to continue playing with my duel. I'm going to activate Reflection Effect, Summon Mighty Master. I'm going to go into Cross Sheep. At this point, I can summon, I summon back to Royal Magical Library. I can draw again with Royal Magical Library, which I will I end up with two cards in my deck. Uh, I draw again with Royal Magical Library. Uh, so I have one card left in my deck. Uh, what was that? Nine cards that we drew with that in Wonder Wand. I link that into Selene. Uh, this just goes to show that I could summon a Masquerina if I want, like just another one. I don't even, so I'm like, no, I didn't even do that. I just don't pendulum summon at all. Celine summoned that. Uh, Graveyard's full to summon something with the Celine Reflection. Five negates with not pendulum summoning. I did not pendulum summon nothing. Look at the board. We're Seeker Village. Good luck. Have fun. Like, there's no... Even Sphere Mode's not breaking that board. Even Sphere Mode Dark Ruler evenly is not breaking that board. Good fight. Pendulum bus deck, baby. Pendulum bus deck. Let's go. So, guys, like I said, World Magic Live is absolutely insane. This is a pretty long video. If you guys want to see a deck profile of this video, let me know in the comments below. I'll love to show it. Uh, I'll probably do it Patreon only, but eh, I'll do a YouTube as well because I'm in a good mood. I'm off work for 30 days. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Comment down below. If you guys want to support your boy, check out the beautiful Truth Gaming playmats. We sold out of Celine playmats, but you can get your servant. Your, sorry, your, we sold out of servant playmats. You get your Celine and Mighty Master playmats as well. If you guys want to figure out how I do all these combos and learn, I have crazy different Patreon memberships for different tiers $10, $20, and a one on one $50. Uh, if you guys can get more better at the game and check out my daily stream, subscribe to Twitch and YouTube. And I'll see you guys.
to the next video. Later guys, peace! Let's go! Ah, uh, my voice cracked, later guys, peace!